The Sega CD was originally intended to equal the capabilities of the TurboGrafx-16, but with twice as much random access memory and sell for around 150 US dollars. In addition to relatively short loading times, the team planned the device to feature hardware scaling and rotation similar to that of Sega's arcade games, which required a dedicated digital signal processor, or DSP. However, two changes made later in development contributed to the final unit's higher than expected price. Because of the Genesis's Motorola 68000 CPU being too slow to handle the Sega CD's new graphics capabilities, an additional 68000 CPU was incorporated in the add-on itself. The cost of the device was now estimated to be at $370, but market research convinced Sega executives that consumers would be willing to pay more for a state-of-the-art machine. 